Hello and welcome, I'm Matthew Rollins. So I wanted to talk about someone that I just discovered today. His name is Gary Brecka. I've written down a few notes. So I saw him, he has a program or a podcast called The Ultimate Human. So he's in that biohacker space, but he, he really, it's just fascinating. I watched a 36 minute YouTube podcast episode he did with Dana White. So he only has, if you go to his YouTube channel, he only has like 10 videos out. He just started uploading things a few days ago. So it was a phenomenal, it was a phenomenal conversation between him and Dana White. And and whether you, Dana White's polarizing, whether you love Dana White or hate him, that's not the point. It was just very fascinating. So so Gary Brecka is in this space of lifestyle medicine, peak performance, human human design, uh, biohacker, those types of things. So he will say, hey, I'm, I'm not a licensed physician. Uh, I think he has he did his postgraduate work in, in human biology. So he worked for years in, for life insurance on the back end. And he would be in the space of high value life insurance policies. And I'm not going to get all the terms right, but he would see nothing less than 5 million. So 5, 10, 25, 50 million life insurance policies for someone's life. And so he said, you know, life insurance companies have some of the craziest in-depth data on people's lives because their financial investment is how long is a human going to live? And it's not just in general, if they're going to write a $50 million policy, they don't just care like in general, how old is a 45 year old? Like they want to know specifically how long is this specific human going to live? And so they, I mean, the, down to the month, the, the data and the information that the, the life insurance companies have on people and knowing correlations and, 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 and having all of these calculators calculators to factor risk risk assessments is just fascinating so he came from that point and, and eventually he said i had to step away from life insurance space because this data i eventually had to really come to terms with the we're talking about human beings on the other side of this on the other side of this data on the other side of all this stuff so I watched, uh, he did a, I watched an 11 minute thing he did on anxiety. I watched a 36 minute episode he did with Dana White on that. He just, he totally saved and changed Dana White's life. I mean, Dana White was, he said a year and a half ago, I mean, he, he he had some of the best doctors in the world helping him, right? But he had his legs was, he had a ton of pain in his legs, painful to the touch. He had, I might not get all the exact things right, but it's something like he had, like hypertension and high blood pressure and he was like 237 pounds um and in in his is uh triglycerides everything was like way out of whack and so they even read his numbers because Dana White's super open and so so Gary Brecka went through his before and after numbers and so Gary Brecka has this team he has this medical team he has this company where he'll he'll take people through uh, health transformations and, and, and they do this deep work on, on blood work and look at these various factors pulling from his life and his, his life insurance background. And they go through these various numbers and factors. And, and so he, he's able to help people make huge transform transformations. So anyways, Dana White just shared, he was like, I, I am a different person now. I have the, the, from the diet and nutrition, the way that I eat to, you know, my, my cold plunges in the morning to my workout styles, to the supplements that I take, but he, he redid, reconfigured everything. And, you know, he's like, all the pain in my legs went away. Uh, my CPAP, I got rid of my CPAP machine. I'm sleeping amazing. All of my numbers are where they need to be. I was all of my high blood pressure and everything has come down. And so it's just fascinating. I love the, I love the biohacking world and, so it fits in line with another couple guys that I like are Dr. Jack Cruz, who uh, he has some, he'll, he'll say some wacky things sometimes on, on Instagram, but he, Dr. Jack Cruz is phenomenal. He is a fascinating mind and he's starting to pick up some steam as he's been on a podcast with Dr. Huberman and Rick Rubin, but he was kind of obscure for quite a while. But uh, Dr. Huberman is fascinating. You know, Tim Ferriss in this biohacking world, uh, it, it just fits within this 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 uh, group this this 
Matthew, use your words, right? This parameter, this this space of, of peak performance that I dig into and, and learn a ton about. So I found it super fascinating. He talks about the three things, the trifecta that the hu- that humans are wired for and designed for is light, magnetism, and oxygen. Now, Dr. Jack Cruz and Tesla, some of these guys will also talk about Light, wa- light, water, and magnetism, or you also talk about frequency, vibration, light, energy, water. So those are the, the building blocks of the human life. But he talks about light, water, sorry, light, magnetism, and oxygen. And so he will say, that, you know, we, we used to, we were wired to, to be made to, to be in the, the outdoors for 80, 90% of our time. Now we're indoors for 80, 90% of our time. And so, so much of the sickness and disease is getting out of touch with the things that ground us that that our that our body is made for it so he talks about in the morning and, and all these things are becoming more mainstream as guys like dr huberman and uh you know dave asprey uh he's a he's a he's a little he's a bit of a character but uh a lot of these guys dave asprey uh dr jack cruz is starting to pick up some steam but a lot of, of people even that are in health will, will will start talking about these things so he says hey, in the morning you want that dawn light, so when the sun rises, that first 45 minutes, getting as much sun exposure on your skin and also, he didn't say this, but on your retinas, on your on your eyes, it's that red light in the morning that has no blue light in it. So that's important. Also, he talked about grounding. You, know, you take off your shoes, you walk in the earth on the dirt, uh, and that, that helps. There's an electron cha- exchange with, you're able to kind of discharge bad electrons. I could be butchering some of this, but this is the gist of it. And then oxygen. So he says he'll do some Wim Hof breathing, which I am a big proponent of Wim Hof breathing. Uh, or, or or he he will he's like if you've got money, he uses something called like a hypermax machine. So it's it's working out. He'll go for a run in the morning for ten minutes and turn on the machine and get about 90 percent oxygen intake. Uh, so it's oxygenating your blood system. So. I was just nerding out on it. I was geeking out on it. You know, him talking about ice baths and saunas. And I watched another interview he did with uh, someone, I can't remember her name, but Jennifer something on Hustle and whatever. But uh, so highly recommend check out the hum- the Ultimate Human podcast and check out Gary Brecka, B-R-E-C-K-A. Uh, and just check out interviews that he's done. He was on the CEO Diaries. I didn't see that one. But something else that has been profoundly positive in my life has been Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza. Some of you may have heard about him. And I really appreciate his work. He he is very, he's systematic in the way that he explains things. So sometimes, sometimes people will teach something and explain something but they're not super practical or they talk in theory uh, and and then you're left wondering especially if it's something about your health or your your emotional health or your body your relationships your finances sometimes they'll talk in these high level spaces but they don't talk about well well what do i do like how do i practically do this or on the flip side let's take Let's take the meditation space. Sometimes people will talk about meditation, will have a meditation practice, but then you're you're like, well, well, why are we doing this? Like, what's what are we supposed to? Do? Or someone maybe has a theory as to why you're supposed to do it, but there's no science behind it. Like, well, what's the science behind it? So what's powerful about Joe Dispenza is he he uh, what he does is he takes the sort he, he this sort of this mystic realm of meditation and mystical encounters and experiences but he he comes at it from a science base so he he will run these conferences where he's teaching people how to meditate how to rewire their brain rewire their bodies but he will he'll be measuring you know he'll be hooking them up to machines he'll be measuring their their brain waves he'll be measuring what's going on in their heart and their body and collecting all of these data points on all these people and doing a tons of research and so He'll be able to tell you, hey, when people were in our conference and they were meditating, these were the gene expressions that we saw shift. These were the brain waves that we saw. This was the, this was the measurable data we gathered on their life and, and quantitatively and qualitatively what we saw shift. So Joe Dispenza, for me, has been really impactful because, you know, to the best of his ability, he tries to step out of meditation. Can be a very, it can have a lot of. Um, baggage or clothing to it so it can you can come at it from 
a specific religion, from uh, a Christian religion or a yogi Eastern uh, approach or any other. And sometimes that that framework can can hinder people from from experiencing or, you know, a new age approach from experiencing the benefits of meditation. So what he does, the the best of his ability, he's like, hey, we're going to go into some mystical meditation, altered states of consciousness places, but we're going to, I'm going to explain to you what's happening in your brainwaves. And so I love it. It's so fascinating because you get, you get all the why, you know, why, why is all the theory? Why are we doing this? And then the what, Hey, this is what we're doing. And then the how, like, here's the step-by-step approach. And he has a bunch of guided meditations. And so I love it because I can lean in and do the guided meditations with the music and the voice and, and, and be like, okay. And I actually know why we're doing this. And so super powerful. Uh, so I highly recommend check out, I just finished his book, Becoming Superhuman. And I highly recommend listen to his audiobook, listen to some of his interviews by Lewis Howes or Ed Milet. Uh, Milet, I think is how you say his name. Uh, that, he's got some really good hour long interviews, hour and a half long interviews between Lewis Howes, Ed Milet, where you kind of get a feel for what he's about. And he just, he, I really, he's, there, there's people that I listen to that I'm like, man, I just, I like I like the stuff you're talking about. There's just something about you that feels a little yeah, a little yucky, a little I don't know if I believe you as a person. I feel like there's some other stuff going on. But uh, Joe Dispenza is someone that I really feel like, man, I really feel a genuine desire in his heart to help human beings improve the quality of their life. And so it's been really fascinating. He talks about like the brain wave. So a, an altered states of consciousness. He's not about taking drugs. It's just that when you shift into a different brave brain wave, you're, st- you're shifting into a different level of consciousness. For instance, we would say sleep is different than being awake. You're in a different level of consciousness. You're not dead. Your brain is still working. It's just functioning at a different level and doing different things. And so I love Joe Dispenza. So he will talk about he will talk about how when you when you so when you're in your in your kind of busy mind, you know, you're firing off, you're doing errands, you're hammering away at emails. That's that's the uh, I don't want to I don't I don't want to butcher this now. All of a sudden, I'm talking and I'm like, that is the beta phase, probably high beta. And so your brain waves are making what they call brain waves, uh, and sometimes they're a little bit incoherent, they're scattered, a little bit chaotic in their pattern. And then when you step into what we would call like flow, right? You're really focused on something or maybe you're in a, in a place of med- like a meditative, calm, focused space. Uh, that is, you drop down to, you drop down to alpha, either low beta or alpha. This is a place where he, he will say, beta is more external focused. Alpha is more internal focused of what's happening on your internal world. But it's this very calm, focused um, place. And then from there, right, we would talk about theta. Theta is like you, you step into theta right right before you go to bed or right right when you're waking up. You're kind of in this in-between semi-conscious, semi-awake state and, and you can kind of slip in and out of dreams. Uh, so that's theta. And then delta is like your deep sleep. And then gamma is where when you have your your brain goes your brain waves go off the charts and that's when in the meditation space when people are having these transcendental life altering encounters almost like out of body experiences their brain goes through gamma and so he'll he'll say when he has scientists in the room and he's got the equipment set up and they're monitoring brain waves they'll be like that person's having a seizure because it looks like someone's having a seizure but he, and it'll be like 2 to 300 times or orders of magnitude above the standard deviation and he's like, no, they're not having a seizure. They're 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 having this transcendental out of body encounter, and and their brain fires off into gamma. So, been nerding out on that as well. So, highly recommend for the biohacking, transforming your health and and wellness, and taking it to the next level. Check out Gary Brecka. Also, if you haven't, check out Dr. Jack Cruz. That's K R U S E. He's got a lot of different opinions, a lot of other things, but if you check out the science where he talks about 
what he talks about light, magnetism, water, electromagnetic frequencies, the blue light toxicity. He's got a really a lot of really solid stuff that has been beneficial in my life. Cold water exposure, uh, and then books. Uh, so this has been. Uh, let me move my. So this has been really. I've been reading. Uh, I read Cal. New, this is by Cal Newport. He's an MIT professor, or he was an MIT professor. Uh, he wrote the book Deep Work and also So Good They Can't Ignore You, Why Skills Trump Passion and the Quest for Work You Love. And it's a really counterintuitive approach to the whole just follow your passion. Uh, and so it's, I think sometimes the truth is found in the collective, in the, the Venn diagram, the triaging of ideas. And so he comes at it from this approach of, hey, to be passionate about what you do, you first need to get really good about it. The people that love what they do are really good at the thing they're doing. And so first, don't ask yourself, what am I passionate about? Ask yourself, what are the skills? What are the, the rare and valuable skills that I can build? Because if I can follow the path of skill building, then I'm going to have something of value to offer the marketplace. And then I can start to broker and I can start to trade in the marketplace for more control over my time, more financial freedom, uh, creating more of a mission to my life. But that comes from being so good they can't ignore you, which is a quote from Steve Martin. Really good book. All right. There's some thoughts. There's some things I'm nerding out on. Drop me some comments. Let me know if you've heard of any of these things or if they sound crazy or stupid to you or if you have any connection to it. Drop me a comment. I love to hear from people. Uh, please subscribe and we'll be coming at you again soon. Boom.